Ontario can be bone-chilling, teeth-chattering cold, but this is a hockey town through and through. They say you don't live winter in the lakehead as much as you survive it, and survival is what the Colonial Hockey League is all about. It's an instinct which tells the story of the players who toil through North America's industrial heartland. It's Hockey Night in Thunder Bay, and joining us on the banter this morning in the house, Mad Mel, captain of the Thundercats. He's Thunder Bay Hockey's radio luminary. A working man in a working man's... We're all here for the same reason. Our agents are awful. <laughs> this is the story of Mel Engelstadt, a native of Saskatoon and a colonial leaguer who's found his own place in the game. Basically off the farm into an NHL camp as a 20-year-old and uh, I went through the filtering process of hockey. Started in Ottawa, Prince Edward Island and then uh, back here in Thunder Bay. John Ferguson told me, he says, give the kid a chance. And, you know, we brought him here. Mel wasn't the best skater when he first came here, but uh, you got to give Mel a lot of credit. He's worked hard, and uh, one thing about him, he's a fan favorite, and uh, there's no one that will give you 100% more than Mel. Hello. Come on in. Come on in. Mel in? Yep. He's downstairs. He earns a few hundred dollars a week for 23 weeks' work, lives in a basement apartment, and goes to university part-time. That's his girlfriend, Allison. Hockey for Mel is toil, but no trouble. It's a living. I think he epitomizes and represents exactly what this league is about. Hard work and uh, coming to bring in your lunch pail and your work boots every night and getting out there and playing 60 minutes. From Brantford to Utica with Saginaw in between, the Colonial League is hockey in the Rust Belt. Where for guys like Mel Engelstadt, grinding it out is what counts. For the faithful, Mel's what hockey is meant to be. Mel Engelstad, yeah. what do you think? He's a good player. He's a kind of resident tough guy around here, eh? Is he tough? Oh, he's a tough guy. Oh, yeah. I love the hard hitting. Gets everybody up for the game. That's what this community's made out of, eh? We're tough. It's up in the north. It's cold. Everybody's out to the hockey game tonight. That's, uh, that's what, uh, what he means to hockey in Thunder Bay. If we play like a team, we'll walk over these guys. We'll walk over. It's not even a question. A couple of good individual efforts, and we're up by a goal. It, it, it reflects on a type of player I am. I'm a tough player, work hard, come out every night to play, and, and it's just like the people here. They're working in the mills, they're lumberjacks, you know, a good, tough, solid town. And, and it shows, it reflects on my style of play, how the people here like it. You're right here. You're on the board. You're on the board. And the topper came out. But I was right beside you guys. are both in the same space. This might be the last stop for most of these players. The Colonial League, their crowning achievement. For now, that's okay. They are the tradesmen of the game whose dreams still flicker. It hurts a bit because I want to be at a higher level. I want to get to the NHL. And, and I work at it every day to do that. And, and I'm, you know, I'm hoping this is the right place and the right ways to get up that ladder of success. And um, I'm sure if you keep trying at it and keep going and going and things going better for me every day, that, that I'll eventually get there. Mad Mel, they call him, 25 years old, a hero in Thunder Bay. Proud to be in pro and aiming to prove he belongs. Way to go, Mel.